You see this bad boy? He's gonna come with us for a long journey across Lithuania. Our idea is to cross all the 60 municipalities of Lithuania and see as much as we can in two weeks. Do you think we can make it? Uh, we already packed everything, we're ready to go. We're gonna see the Gemaitia region. We have camping equipment, we have everything in our disposal to survive these long two weeks we're gonna have ahead. See you there. So the adventure begins. Our first stop is gonna be Pretinga in Gemaitia with a population of approximately 17,000 people. We're gonna see the astronomical calendar. It's gonna give us a glimpse on how ancient culture interpreted the skies. Near the Kretinga Museum, housed in the former Tishkvitsche Manor, you will discover an astonishing astronomical calendar with a sundial. Created in 2002, this unique piece was the first of its kind in the Baltic states. Designed as a diploma project of architect Rita Gorodekiene, the calendar highlights the skill of craftsmen while also embodying elements of Lithuanian culture. The idea for the calendar was sparked by Lithuania's oldest sundial, built in 1610 and located in the Franciscan Monastery of Kretinga. I think we figured out how this works. So when it hits midday, we need to see the distance of the shadow, and then by the distance of the shadow, we need to see which pole it corresponds to, and by that, we know what time of the year, what date it is. Actually quite impressive. The installation features 13 oak sculptures and a towering 6-meter-high sundial rod in a timeless tribute to craftsmanship. I'm stuck, I don't know where to go. This was so cool until now, I, I think this is it. I'm kidding, we might have an elevator or some other stairs. But look at the view you can have from here. This real estate was built way long ago and because there were so many archaeological sites around Kretinga, everything came to the, the real estate and it became a museum. And this was the old orangery that they built in the real estate that became the winter garden that you can see right now. now this is the real entrance. Oh, we can have a coffee here and drink some water. They have turtles. Oh, this is very fresh here, feels so nice, feels like being actually outside in some kind of uh, woods or tropical forest. While we take a short coffee break, let me tell you about the remarkable winter garden. It boasts over 5,000 plant species, including cacti and banana trees, but the museum offers much more. Its halls are filled with an archaeological collection that began with the priest of Kalnali's church at the end of the 19th century. In 1935, the museum was established thanks to the efforts of Gyozas Shilvitis, an active public figure. Despite the challenges of war, the museum was eventually relocated to the Tishkevici Manor in the late 20th century. We are in the ethnographic park of Kretinga, very close to the museum. We just collected the magnet from Suring Lietuva, collect uh, Lithuania. Basically, we have to collect magnets from all uh, municipalities of Lithuania. If for some reason we can't because it's closed, we can also use our GPS location, go to the app and uh, say we visit this location and then we can get the magnet from there. The museum is also a place for education and discovery featuring an ethnographic park where visitors can try their hand at bread baking, candy making, pottery and soap making. And this is all Easter eggs. Easter is my favorite. It's so amazing. It's 2.30 and we have to go to Zagare. It's like about three hours driving and we have a lot of places yet to visit. We are on our way to the Baltic Mythology Park, the first and only site in Lithuania where you can explore the complete structure of the ancient mythology of the Baltic people. Uh, so this is a hundred years old forest, first of all. 
uh, it was inherited by my family and was growing uh, freely without any problem. But in 2009, the gov government asked, are we saving it or are we chopping it? He declared to save it. And uh, this is how my father made the system of the um, ethnography data. We found everything about, about Baltic mythology. We're doing the walk of life here. Um, what just happened was very interesting. We met the keeper of the park. He wants to spread the word that this park exists, this project is amazing, he's keeping everything alone and you can see how much love he's put into this place. It really makes you think how our ancestors connected cycles of life and nature together. What comes after dying? Because all the cultures around the world are the same, we are talking about the same things. Mm -hmm. Life growing, yeah, and dying. going to die, yeah. and what's after. But through the different symbols. I, I don't know yeah. what's gonna be there. Yeah. I don't know, and we don't know, you know? Yeah. Some, some mm -hmm. clinical death survivors are telling us the, the stories. But for real, we gonna, we gonna experience each of us. Can yeah. you imagine? Each of us gonna experience it once in the life. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, once in the death. Yeah. <laughs> once in the death. <laughs> I think we all are afraid of dying because we don't know what's yeah. happening next. And at least un believing in this and uh, understanding how our ancestors yeah. lived because yeah. being in terms with life and death and mm -hmm. just okay, being yeah. like having a life that's actually pleasant and you don't mm. have to worry about this concept of death, maybe. Imagine that uh, ancient times and, and we were preparing for the passage of, of uh, life and non-life while doing the things for themselves, for others and for the ground they have to work, you know, mm. so, so not mm -hmm. only spiritual life they had but uh, as well as uh, material because I have to live right yeah. now, you know. So, uh, there was beliefs that everything what I'm doing now Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like a inertic uh, idea. Yeah. Gonna follow it uh, after life, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, sometimes uh, the ghost cannot believe that it's dead, because there are some ideas of past life, you know, and still oh, yeah, yeah. materializes it kind of in, in its existence, like, no? it's, without uh, without physical but with ideal yeah, ide yeah. idealistic yeah, yeah. ideas. Earth circle. This is the birth, the birth of the body. Set within a living forest, the park features all the major sculptures of the Baltic Pantheon. Serving as a museum, educational center, it's located between Spintoji and Darbene. That tiny lake you just saw, it says it's the residence of souls after dying. And uh, it references the god of wind, Vejas, in Lithuanian. Which is very similar to Vayu from Hinduism, as it said there. And I am thinking, so, Lithuanian language actually comes from Sanskrit. Maybe there's a few connections there between religion and language as well. Interesting to think about, isn't it? He told us we're both splitting. And I'm, I have to think of a question for Patricia and she has to think of a question for me. So she goes left, I go right in the labyrinth. When we meet, we have to ask a question and then we part ways and we have to think about the answer and then come back with the answer and talk about it. It's very couple therapy kind of thing. I don't know what I'm gonna ask. Lavas. Okay, <laughs> I think they already did it and they're coming back. Uh, there's no way of getting lost because it's always straight, but it's very long. <laughs> like just walking in, in these like circles. I think this is the center, and I have to wait here for her. I'll just ring the bell and let her know that we arrived. I'm actually nervous. <laughs> She's not here, did she get lost? <sighs> what if this was all a trap and we're actually not getting out of this labyrinth? It's been around five minutes, she hasn't arrived yet oh so we meet again <laughs> what it's happened? really long i was walking fast yeah ring the bell to let me know that you arrived and i asked you the question okay so one thing i'll have more time to think about your question 
you have less time to think about mine, but you had more time to think about the... Uh... Yes, I have a good one. Okay. What does your soul sound like? What does my soul sound like? Like, ah! <laughs> you Panic! You just answer, you need to think about it first. <laughs> I have one as well. What is the one thing that you want to improve on yourself after these two weeks? Okay. What my soul sounds like? What? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's shut down the camera and think about it. You can see that she's thinking a lot about my question. She's already talking with her therapist. I'm having an existential crisis. This endless corridor of doubts. God, it's the second time I pass you so and... So close and yet... <sighs> This is the exit, but oh my god, oh my god, and I already thought about the answer a while ago. <laughs> I passed her two times already. How big is this place? I, made it. I think I finally made it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You have a, you got a satisfactory answer for the question? I think I yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we have to stop to say our goodbyes to our new friend Julius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're back with our questions and answers. I don't have a specific answer, but one thing I would like to work on was like a first emotion is patience. But then I was like trying to dig a bit deeper, like why am I impatient? Mm. And the deeper emotion is anger, like it's because I'm angry. Mm. But then the even deeper emotion is fear and stress like it's stress because of fear that that's something that would be nice to work on that's yeah. positive development i like it so you want to know mine going? i actually think that my soul sounds like the summer breeze in a sunny day it's like refreshing and brings you in peace when you're very like anxious with the with the sun is you know, you're very warm and hot and you don't feel well and then you have this breeze that just like gives you energy again at least that's what i hope it is now <laughs> let's happen. move to the next spot <laughs> let's go to <laughs> salante salante see you in salante yeah. bye bye One day we will arrive to our destination. As time passed and our hunger grew bigger, we decided to stop in Salante for some traditional bread. Oh. Your first uh, village shop. First, it's a cultural experience. What is this? Oh, we need to take a few. Interesting experience. We're gonna, we, we came here for a cake. Ah. Salantu, Salantu Piragas. Piragas. We call from this uh, region. This oh. specific town only. Oh, San Andrei. Yeah. It's like 470 a kilo. It's, just, it's more like a caramel filled with liquid caramel. Stupid. Salon Tuperagas is the bakery. Oh, this is okay. This is a typical one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sweetheart bread. Okay. This one. Oh, reasons. look, and they have some shakotis. Oh, so, so, so. We could use this for breakfast. Oh my goodness, guys. What is this? Oh, I can't even explain it. It's super Jamaican. Castine, is it uh, like a cheese? Uh, uh -huh. Ah, so it's potato. Uh, no, 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 no. With potato, it's with eaten. potato. Oh, with ah, okay. So that's eaten with potato. I don't know what it is yet. Ah. Mm. Okay. It's Twisted, uh, twisted sour cream with uh -huh. kefir, with some uh, milk that's gone kind of like sour. Yeah, yeah. sour milk, and um, yeah, two different variants. Oh, ah, so okay. chestnut is uh, it's with garlic as with well. With garlic, okay, so it's like a dip. Galbenia, um, so castanis is something very typical from Jamitia region. It's like the whisking process that makes it this hard substance like butter. And to eat it, you take a little bit and you spread it like on a bite of potato and you bite with this. It's very good. Can't wait to try it in the camping. What a big drinking culture here. Oh, you see that? Wheat? That's uh, Lithuanian vodka. See what that's uh, Tumbra. The warmth and friendliness of local people made our visit to Salante truly special. And just when we thought Salante couldn't get any more beautiful, we got captivated with the Church of Salante. Its intricate neo-gothic design 
makes it a landmark feeling for the town. I just realized we are off of the way and we have a long way to go. Um, we will have to skip a few places. Uh, we haven't eaten anything, we just got this loaf of bread. Very good, Santai, very good. Mm. But this is a pie. I think this is cake. <laughs> what do you guys think this is? It's good, sweet. We are in Squadas. So in the 20th century there was a chapel here and people would actually bring their babies to bathe them in this water. And you can understand why, because it looks so healthy, so fresh and so nurturing to the body. The place is, is perfect, it's like out of a fairy tale. This was a very sentimental stop for Patrizia, as we see a Kadagis, a bush that can live for many, many years, and that was the inspiration behind her surname. Akmene. Akmene doesn't deserve this. We wanted to drive here and see the full beauty of this town and I mean it's raining, it's not the best, we will have to return here. For now we're gonna mark this place. Nice, we got Akmene. So we got Kretinga, Skodas, Majeke and Akmene. So we have four, it's still like a long two weeks to go and it's a very nice start to our adventure. Sorry Akmene, but any other day we'll have to do. So with our seven hearts and a beautiful sunset, we depart to Jagare. Oh, oh! So we get this barcode. I'm gonna go and get it redeemed. It's like Sunday, it's 9 p.m. They don't allow uh, to buy any alcohol after 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Every other day after 8 p.m. you also cannot buy alcohol. So no beers today. Time to head to the camp. Let's go. We just arrived to our camping. The situation is a little bit better than we expected. It's not raining, it's not that cold. They have a kitchen, they have a lot of bugs, apparently. They have a nice bathroom and we can charge our devices for tomorrow, which is great. Now we're gonna get some food, we're gonna get some sleep. Tomorrow is gonna be a nice and a sunny day, we hope. We're gonna see the Shagali Mansion just around the corner. We're gonna walk around the a little bit see how the place looks during the day I mean for now we just gotta do what we must to survive <laughs> and have some beef jerky very yucky beef jerky actually it's very nice mm. oh my god the bugs bug situation in Lithuania have bugs spray with you all the time <laughs> 